I'm super excited. <laughs> Let me. It's the morning. I used to drink water all night, then drink water in the morning. But I even. I'm so excited. I made a smoothie. I made a smoothie like this, this banana, mango. You know, mango. I cut it up. You know, mango, banana, uh, some weird grape from elongated grape. It's not just a round grape. It's like elongated. Uh, put the put my vitamin C. You know, buffered vitamin C along with my moringa powder in there. What else? Oh, I got stuff in there. Oh, and it's in that some coconut beverage. I got it. Was in, I should show it to you, but I ain't gonna show it to you. Mm. 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 A little bit of maple syrup, but it's still that 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 unsweetened coconut thing. Sort of takes the sweetness off. It's fine though. Mm. Mango should make it all right. But oh wait, what am I talking to you about? Okay, I visited Eugene. Eugene B. Redmond yesterday gave me some stuff, first of all. Well, you know, Eugene's interesting because he always, he takes a lot of pictures, but he always gets stuff in, in the in East St. Louis papers, you know. This is the East St. Louis paper, yeah, newspaper he got. But he, this guy wrote this article. This is, Saint, this is the East St. Louis Monitor. You know, it's, you know, he's old school. Old school meaning, you know, read newspapers and stuff like that. The other thing here, but there was this whole article that some guy wrote, and he, and this is the, uh, oh, this is when what's the name passed, you know. Uh, that's a shame. Baseball player. Oh, well. Um, oh. Uh, yeah, I used to rock with Lou Brock. Yeah, it's Lou Brock and Lou Brock. I like Lou Brock. Anyway, okay, wait, wait. That's not what I'm looking for. Where's the Where's the newspaper article thingy? That is the monitor. This what happens in the newspaper. You start looking through stuff. Oh, here, here's a reprint. This whole thing. Um, um, Eugene Redmond brings Henry Dumas back. Knees of a natural man. Reprint from Flood Editions. If Henry Dumas were still alive today, it's possible that the world would be different because he would have transformed it in some way. If, however, he were to suddenly return to life today, in a way, that uh, long out-of-print books can be suddenly be reprinted. He would be amazed. He would be amazed to discover 52 years after, his, after he was killed uh, that black people like himself still confront the same problems and possibilities. Now, for some reasons, the reader who confronts uh, Dumas' poetry in the reprint edition of Knees of a Natural Man, forthcoming October 30th. Hey, I got an advance. Hey, I got an advance. Well, advance, but I guess so. Advance, advance copy. This book's coming out October 30th. We are in the beginning of October, right? Yeah, October 30th. Knees of a Natural Man. The Selected Poetry. Andrew Dumas. You see, you see this little print there. I just have to know the name. You see the name, and you did the with it. Okay. Um, we'll find a startling original contemporary. And these 165 poems, woo, it's a lot of poems, um, curated by East St. Louis's own Eugene B. Redmond, we encountered the quintessential young, brilliant, burning black man, inflamed by violence against the people and oppression, alert to the possibilities of blackness reaching all the way back to before ancient Egypt. Hey, the writing of Chris King. Chris King, good writer. I like the way he writes. But here's this knees of a natural man. This is what's going to be. Look at this. Let me see if get the, the poems. Knees of a natural man. What you want? No, we ain't get time yet. You got to wait. We ain't, we ain't going out yet. Chill. Go someplace and chill. Yeah, go someplace and chill. Liar, she's trying to get me to go out and walk with her. I ain't walking with you right now. You can forget it. Play ebony, play ebony, play ivory section. Like that. Oh, man. Last time. Root song, my favorite. Root song is like a... Well, don't worry about it. It's in the Black Panther. But don't worry about it. It's a comic. They, they, they used part of it anyway. Root song. One incredible, just incredible poem. A lot of poetry here. Image... Uh, Uncle Sam, uptight blues. Remember, we used to say uptight. Baby, 
Everything is all right up tight. Add a sign. Baby Firebird. I like that poem. Montage. I like that poem too. I like a lot of poems. I, I shouldn't say, I, I can keep on saying love song. Valentine. Mississippi song. Hmm. Good poetry. Really good. Oh, to Zambia. Oh, I love, I love Zambia. I really do. You know, Zambia's in Africa. Don't worry about it. Next, next to Mozambique. Next to um, Mozambique. Next to Zimbabwe. Um, wow. Oh, America. Oh, I, I saw Eugene perform this poem one time. 135. Wait, wait a second. Wait, let, me, let, me, let me just a second. I'm a, okay, I'm, I'm not going to stay on this long. 135. 135. I saw Eugene perform this poem one time. You see America right there? He took out a coin, like a quarter, flipped it up in the air. Poem goes, If an eagle be imprisoned on the back of a coin, he flipped up the coin. No, no, he didn't flip it him. And the coin is tossed into the sky. Flip the coin up. That coin would spin. That coin would flutter. But the eagle will never fly. What can we say? Oh, and I get okay. I can I got to do some self whatever because see, there's a there's like a group. There's a, but the group keeps on getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. There's a group of us, you know. Uh, under acknowledgments here, he says, uh, this is uh, Eugene writing. Uh, the good struggle to perpetuate the Henry Dumas movement, as Jane Cortez calls it, began in May of 1968. May is when he was shot by a transit cop in New York City. There's some some place I heard they said it was 125th Street. No, it was 135th Street. The 135th Street stopped on the, on the three line. Interestingly enough, um, uh, as his grief, as his grief-born family, friends, and colleagues sought to assemble the foggy deals, details of his bizarre and sudden death, and prepare the most fitting vehicles by which his brilliantly original creations should be conveyed to the wider world. Uh, towards such ends, practically every conceivable approach, medium, technique, and form has been pressed into service. Consequently, I mean, well, that's what I I mean, everybody. I mean, we we did that songs. Play, I mean, I got to play. I got. I got to get. This, I need it. I got a couple of plays of, of more than a couple of plays. You know, I did audio dramas on them three by two, two audio dramas. But there's this play called Double Nigger Crossing from two of his. Yeah, I I forged it from two of his um short stories, maybe three of his short stories, and his poetry. It's a it's a play about Emmett Till. You know, I want to get it done, man. These people keep a mess up, man. See, I can't do the producing thing. You know, I'm, I just, mm, I have to depend on other people. You know, I mean, say, let me not call out any names and I'll jinx it. But see here, there's me right there. Right, see that? See, I'm acknowledged. Just, say, I'm acknowledged. So, anyway, so this is the new poetry book. And then they're going to release next year, they're going to read the, um, the book of short stories stories. That's why I need to get this play done. Maybe they'll have an event and I get to play. They'll, they'll use the play as somehow I, I figure it out. So I got this from from um, from Eugene yesterday, but Eugene gave me some other stuff too. I'm still reading that book. Oh, he gave his, his man, uh, Sherman Fowler, you know, you got this book, right? Islands of Thought. Pookie's Poetry. Now, hey, you know how we use the name Pookie now in the uh, in the Pantheon, we used to name Pookie now. But that that was really Fowler's. That's really Fowler's uh, nickname, Pookie. Yeah. Hey, it's ghetto. Well, it's, it's, it's community name. What else do I got in here? Oh, then you know what happened? Where's the thing at? Oh, well, this is, oh, oh. You know what happened? It came yesterday. Can I rip this off? Let me just brute force rip this off. Because this is a, one of those brute force things, you know? Came, it came, it came. Ta-da! 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 One of the finest writers, one of the finest historians living today. Doctor, Mr. My man, Gerald Horn, 
This is the book. I'm dropping everything. I don't care about anything else. The Dawning of the Apocalypse. The Roots of Slavery, White Supremacy, Settler Colonialism, and Capitalism in the Long 16th Century. If you want to know what, what white supremacy is, where it comes from, how it developed, and I go on and get fact. It, 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 this is my grandnephew there. Hey, QJ, guess what? Got the book. Yeah, I'll be reading this to you when I get. I'm gonna be reading this for the whole. I guess I will read this list. Yeah, I'm whole month when I get to you. I will read to you. Maybe you will buy the hard cover like a hundred dollars and just leave it down at at Beth. That's where a lot of my books are down at. at well, at your at your grandmother's house. Okay. Hmm. I mean, look, I, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go take the dog. This is our Sunday. That means we will be there for like four hours. I got to go. Got to go. Go. But just know, stuff is happening. Get yourself some books. Darn it. Read. <laughs> this is a little suggestion from me. T, from the Patterson State of Jason Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.